Hello, welcome back to Truth Seekers Tea. My name is Kate and I want to thank you for choosing to spend your time watching this video. Today we're going to be doing a reading on your person's true feelings for you, okay? So I'm not going to be sugarcoating anything. We're going to get into their thoughts, their feelings about you and the connection and hopefully we can kind of see um, what's going on behind the scenes with them if they haven't been too open with you about their feelings. So we have four piles here today. Um, go ahead and pick the pile that you feel the most drawn to. For pile one, we have the peacock card with the opalite crystal. For pile two, we have the owl card with the um, rose quartz. And for pile three, we have the eagle card with the red jasper crystal. And for pile four, we have the tiger card with the serpentine crystal. So if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do so to pick your pile. And I will have the timestamps for each pile linked down below so you can just skip to your reading. But yeah, I'm going to go get into the pile. So I'll see you at your pile. Hi, pile one. If you chose the peacock oracle card and the opalite crystal, this is going to be your reading on your person's honest feelings for you, what they're truly feeling for you at this time. This is a timeless reading. So whenever you are coming across it is when you are meant to see it. So let's get into it. I'm going to start with some tarot just to get an overall vibe check on this person. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I think this works really well just to help you guys figure out if you pick the right pile. I am going to do some messages from your person and just to see if this sounds like their overall energy. The message cards tend to be from their higher self. So take them with a grain of salt, but I do think it gives a good vibe check to help you figure out if this is your pile. So let's see, um, your person just overall energy towards you right now and this connection and this can kind of help you figure out if this is the right pile. So Spirit, can you please tap me into the collective energy of pile one and their person and what they're currently feeling and thinking about pile one? We both changed. I'm not sure about the future. I'm scared to open to my open. Okay, I'm scared to open my heart to love again. I'm attracted to you, but I'm not ready for the next step. We were not ready for all that happened. So I am the first thing that I'm getting from this person is that um, I do feel like you have a history with this person. Okay, so I do feel like this is someone where you guys may have been off and on for a while or this could be this could be someone you're in separation with or it could be someone you're just off and on with. Okay, so it doesn't have to be as severe a separation, but I do get that you guys have had a history that. Um, there have been ups and downs in this connection, times where you guys were more connected and times where um, this person may have pushed the connection away or things may have gotten um, too intense or something and this person may have not been ready for a full on commitment. And so I feel like this, instead of having a full on commitment, I feel like you guys maybe had like a situation chip, um, something like that. You guys just have a history with this person for sure. So yeah, and with I'm scared to open up my heart to love again, I'm getting two situations. I feel like one of the situations could be that this person, you've been off and on with them and it's been hard to get them to commit really because maybe they had a past relationship that was difficult. But for situation two, I do feel like you may have already dated this person and it could be someone, it could be like an ex that you have in mind that you're like considering talking to and maybe this person is considering opening up the relationship to you again and it may just be that this person is kind of scared to open the door to this relationship um, due to your guys' past, okay? So they may just be feeling timid in that way. So I feel like if you fall into one of those two situations, then this is definitely your pile. If not, you might want to check the energy check-in at another pile. So I'm going to put these to the side for right now, and let's get into some tarot to see how this person is currently feeling about you. All right, spirit, let's see. Pile one, what is pile one's person truly honestly feeling for them right now? We have the four of coins in reverse. We have the five of swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person is holding their feelings very close to their chest. Like they're being very cautious and like not super open in this connection. We have the two of coins in reverse. And then we also have the queen of coins. Okay, yeah. And so I feel like with the five of swords in reverse, I feel like this person... Um, 
you guys may have had um, conversations in the past that maybe got really heated or I just feel like you guys have argued before in the past and I feel like this hasn't always been a super stable connection, okay? I was getting that from the beginning, but I feel like with this queen of coins, this person sees you as someone who is very nurturing, very stable. They see you in a very positive light. Um, I guess they just feel like when you two are paired together, it can get difficult because sometimes they don't feel like they're stable enough or they're ready to match your energy. I feel like you are always here ready for something more committed, something more serious. And that's usually what you want from the connection. And I feel like this person um, is closed off to that because I feel like they don't feel completely stable within themselves or they just don't feel ready for something more serious. But And that's why they kind of hold back from you. Let's see what else comes through. How are they truly feeling in this connection spirit? We have the star. Okay, that's awesome. I feel like this person finds you very healing. Um, I feel like they, this is just kind of random things coming through about how they view you. But I feel like they view you just, again, they, in a very positive light. I think that this person finds you very healing. And I feel like they don't want to lose you. Okay, there's this essence of them knowing your worth and understanding that and knowing that they're not giving you enough in this connection and they feel like this is kind of on them they know that it's their own decisions and the way that they have been acting towards this relationship that doesn't feel completely fair to you um and it's like they want to open up to you but they have these blockages that prevent them from reciprocating your energy to them which i feel like is very healing um, I feel like you just want to help this person. I feel like you're very genuine towards this person and your intentions are really good for them. And um, you really want nothing but the best for this person. And so I feel like they are aware that you will have such a positive energy, um, but they just tend to, I, yeah, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. It's like, I feel like this person wants to take off their mask and sort of open up to you. But I also feel like this person has a lot of self-created fears Um and I feel like you really try to get this person to open up. That's something that's coming through. I feel like you do, you do, you want to heal this person. It feels like you really want to help them realize that they can open themselves up to you and it's going to be fine. And I feel like you just want them to get through their blockages, honestly. And it may be some sort of memory that this person has, like with another connection, or maybe you guys have gotten into an argument before that they can't really let go of. I feel like they have some sort of trauma when it comes to relationships and maybe arguments and feeling like they can get really destabilized when they are deeply involved in a relationship. And so I think this person is afraid of feeling that sort of chaotic feeling that can come with relationships sometimes and with just emotions running high. And I think you're just trying to show them that you are a safe space for them. And you just want them to open up, I feel like. So I'm going to get you some more tarot cards. We'll keep kind of digging into this person's feelings for you. All right. Let me use... Okay. All right, Spirit. Let's see. What is this person's current feelings towards pile one? Shine bright like a diamond. Um, there's an essence coming through... Uh, like, we found love in a hopeless place. That's a song coming through. And I think this person, they really have strong feelings for you, but they just have a lot of fears that are maybe subconscious that just stop them from opening up. All right, how else is this person feeling for pile one? Yeah, with the sun in reverse. It's like this person knows that you would make them so happy, but it's like they can't open themselves up to happiness. They don't let themselves have good things. It's like... They feel like being lonely and safe is better than taking a risk and being happy. And they see you as this sunshine, you know? And then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse here. Let's get another one. Yeah, we have, we have the Ten of Cups. It's like this person knows that there could be so much happiness with you. But again, we have that Four of Pentacles coming up of this person being very guarded. It's like... It's very, like, hopeless. There's just, like, this hopeless feeling about them. But they definitely don't want to walk away from this connection um, because they feel so... Also, what? I, sorry, I'm getting something just came through. Is that with this Eight of Cups in reverse, there may be certain situations that they really actually need to walk away from that are separate from you. And that, like, maybe they're just kind of wasting their energy in them because it's, like, due to habit or... 
what they're comfortable with. They might be interacting with like different types of relationships or just different activities in their life that really aren't bringing them happiness. But it's like with this eight of cups in reverse, I feel like that's confirming. So when the eight of cups is upright, it talks about someone who leaves everything behind that they've already built up to go find their personal happiness to the, to the nine of cups. And with that in reverse, I just feel like it's confirmation that this person feels like they don't know how to walk away from the current life that they're in towards their happiness. And it's like they have this intuitive feeling that you're such a good thing and that you guys could be really happy together. But this person isn't taking actions to step away from the things in their life that aren't serving them. And so I am curious to dig a little bit more into maybe what they are um, distracting themselves with right now. I just feel like they are definitely... It's like they... They don't take steps towards, again, it's like they're staying. So the Eight of Cups is about something that you have invested a lot in. And so it, it's like you'd be very comfortable in that situation. And I think this person has situations or relationships or different things that they're comfortable in. And they don't know how to walk away from them. Um, I feel like you'll know more. It's like maybe this person has certain like, to not toxic necessarily, but just like a lifestyle that doesn't really make them happy and they don't know any better because it's just what's safe to them and i guess they don't feel like taking risks in love like they they are afraid of that yeah we have high priestess in reverse they need to listen to their intuition about this connection because their intuition is telling them that you're a very good thing um but they don't listen to it they block the sun they block the happiness from coming in they they don't listen to themselves maybe other people they listen to what other people think, what other people think about them, and they go live their life more by that. We have the three of wands in reverse here too. Yeah, it's like this person doesn't think much for the future and they aren't, it's like they're, there's this essence of them. Very stuck on something that they're focused on right now. It could be career. It could be a different relationship. Um, you would know if it's a third party situation. And I just feel like self judgment is needed to figure out whether what they're focusing on is truly serving them, if it's truly where they want to go in life. And I think that they don't, they need to check themselves about something in their life. Um, I'm going to get some oracle cards to see, get a little more information. spirit this person's there's also this energy coming through of them not understanding how chaotic situations are not better for them maybe they had a chaotic relationship with their parents and so now they expect chaotic situations but i feel like you're coming through as someone who has a very pure love to give them and it's almost like they don't know how to accept that they they're only used to love being a chaotic sort of exchange and I feel like they are stuck in something like that right now. Okay, we have sitting on top of the world in reverse. Service. The service card always comes through when someone feels like the other person is there for them and takes care of them. And again, what's coming through is this person knows that you would be very nurturing for them and they see their intuition screams at them that this is a good route for them but they don't feel worthy of feeling good and having good people in their life which is really sad but it's it's their own um attachment style that i think is getting in the way of this connection yeah we have rainbow bridge here as well and i feel like you are sort of a light in this person's life that they, that really gives them hope too because the star came out and i feel like you do give this person a lot of hope um they still have a lot to work on but i feel like you do give them a lot of hope and i feel like you are this rainbow bridge you are this like happiness for them that brings them out of whatever chaos is going on and you are such a light for this person and they really appreciate you that's something that's coming through is how much they do see how good you are it's just like they can't they know it's this bridge to happiness that's how they see you as this door to happiness this door to a new life that would be better for them and 
I think this person does with the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like they do want to find a way to open up to you and uh, find a way to leave these unsatisfying situations that they may currently be involved with in the past. Um, but yeah, I want to get some more on that. Let's maybe ask what the what is the main blockage, Spirit? What's the main blockage in this connection? We have temperance in reverse. Again, yeah, this person feels unstable because um, we have the two coins coming out. And I feel like this person, like I was saying, they may overlook this connection sometimes because it's it. they're used to being emotionally imbalanced. Let's get one more to clarify. We have the world as well. And so I do think it's a cycle that they need to let go of, um, of finding, of accepting love that's better, accepting people that will treat them better and knowing that they deserve that. Because with this temperance in reverse, it's like they're constantly used to being in this state of imbalance. And that feels like it's their norm. I'm going to ask Spirit what they want in this connection with you. Spirit, what does pile one's person want right now? We have watching, looking, stalking, <laughs> perception, stalking. So I feel like this person keeps their distance from you. And again, they keep the, their emotions very close to their chest because um, they don't feel super comfortable being open with you, even though their their heart is telling them that you're safe. So I feel like they like to be very sly and sort of watch you from a distance. They may look at your social media or they may just kind of wait for opportune times like reach out to you to say something um i feel like they wait for their moment like they're not super outgoing towards you but they will sometimes reach out i feel like and say something okay we have cutting out separation stop the pattern silent treatment let's get one more then we have twin flames mm, wow i feel like this person is somewhat somewhat um trying to walk away from things stop the pattern i feel like this person is trying to to separate themselves from some sort of toxic situation because we have twin flames here and I think this person intuitively feels a very deep connection to you. We also have the butterfly at the back of the um, page here and then old school. Yeah, oh my gosh, I feel like all of these are like perfect. I feel like this person with the butterfly, I feel like they do want to evolve in this connection and I feel like they do want to let go of this old way of being with old school, outdated thinking, conditioning. And I think they do want to work on this connection. I feel like they're trying to build the... Uh, they're trying to do this on their own though it's almost like they don't want to get you involved in the stuff that's going on in their life I feel like they have a lot of chaotic energies around them and it's like they don't feel like they're ready at this moment to open up to you for a serious relationship but they want to and I think they're trying to work on things on their own because again this person doesn't feel super good about letting you in to help them with what they're going through so they feel like they want to go through it alone and then they want to come to you when they're like already healed and they've like kind of blossomed from the situation and again with this peacock i do feel like um i feel like a lot of people may try to get this person's attention or they may have like a lot of people that try to like pull on this person's energy and i think sometimes it's hard for this person to put what they want first rather than what other people are telling them to do there is an essence of that coming through as well um yeah i'm gonna get a couple more oracle cards okay we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path and so when this comes out to you i see this as there's other factors that are just outside of the relationship that are influencing the connection it doesn't have to be like religion or spirituality i feel like it's more that this person has things going on outside that are influencing the way that they're interacting with you oh a card just flew out on the ground we have finances and career okay so this person may have like responsibilities going on right now that they feel like they have to tend to again outside factors coming through and then we have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take okay so i feel like this person does want to make the effort um or that's almost spirit's message to them it's like they know this is a great love and i feel like spirit is trying to guide this person towards you and guide them to making better decisions for their life um but it's like they keep they try to they don't listen sometimes and so i think this person is just in this internal battle at the moment of trying to free themselves from what doesn't truly make them happy and maybe obligations or responsibilities that traditionally are a good thing for them to focus on but I think their heart is telling them that they want to interact with you more. 
or, or just be more open with you or, or give it a chance, you know, give this relationship a chance. I'm going to get a song for you. See what song. Oh, my dog is barking. Sorry, my dogs are barking, but let's get back into it. Spirit, for pile one, what is a song that really encompasses all the energy that pile one is currently feeling? Pile one's person is feeling for pile one. What is their energy like? Okay. Okay, it says, I'm just going to take the top card right there. It says, Dilemma, no matter what I do, all I think about is you. Even when I'm with my boo, boy, you know I'm crazy over you. No matter what I do, all I think about is you. Even when I'm with my boo, boy, you know I'm crazy over you. I wonder if this is a third party situation. We also have Whitney Houston, I will always love you. Um, if I should stay, I would be, I would only be in your way. So I'll go, but I know I'll think of you every step of the way. Wow. Yeah, I feel like this person tries to maybe ignore their intuition that this is like a super deep connection and it's something they need to pay attention to and they can't just run away from it there is a runner energy coming through with this twin flame card as well and i think this person almost feels like they're not at their best for you it's almost like they don't feel good enough for you yet and so it feels like they want to build themselves up or just get themselves ready to open up to you but there's no denying that this person has such strong feelings for you. It's more of just their own blockages and what's going on in their life outside of this connection that makes this person feel like they aren't ready for something as intense and serious as this relationship could be, okay? But I do think this person is working through a cycle of letting go of what doesn't serve them and making decisions that actually bring them closer to their happiness. But again, it, you can't change anything about this person's um, action. So... Um, you know, this person could need some time still right now. So I hope this helped to bring you some clarity. Um, please like this video. It really helps out my channel. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys that have been hitting the like button. It just really supports my video. So thank you. And comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the reading. If it resonated, I'd love to hear. And make sure you subscribe. I'll be posting three to four pick a card readings per week. So have a great rest of your day. Hi, pile two. If you chose the owl card and the rose quartz crystal, this is going to be your reading about your person's true feelings for you, what's going on in the connection, and basically you're going to be digging into anything that's confusing about your person right now. So this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're seeing this is when you are meant to see it. We are going to do an energy check-in with some message cards just to see if we can get the overall vibes of the connection and just to help you figure out if you pick the right pile. And so take it with a grain of salt. Um, usually it does relate pretty well to the piles, um, but it's mainly just used to get like an overall energy check-in. So if this sounds nothing like your person, then you might want to look at the energy check-in in a different pile and see if uh, you were more drawn to another pile. All right, spirit, let's tap into pile two's person's energy. What is their overall energy towards their person and this connection for pile two? We have, I avoided what I was feeling. I have so much guilt for the way I treated you. I have issues and I don't deserve your love. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh at that. I don't know why I did. Um, a very specific energy is coming through. So, and then at the back of, deck, of the deck, we have, I'm facing my shadows and I want to change. Okay. So I feel like this is someone um, that may have really pushed you away um and someone that may have really hurt you at some point um <sighs> i feel like your history with this person was something that was painful for you okay i think it was painful for both both of you guys i think this is a very deep connection but i think this person's shadow got the best of them in this connection and they may have acted very much from a wounded or triggered place in this relationship so if this is if you are perfectly happy with your person this may not be your pile but um I think this is someone who feels like they were in the wrong during your guys's relationship and they may have done or said things that they do regret at this point and it was because they were pushing down their feelings for you and they maybe couldn't handle the intensity of the connection or they felt like triggered a lot in this connection um 
yeah, you may have mirrored just some of their wounds to them. And I think that this person is trying to better themselves. But when they think back to this, you may be in separation right now. It's possible this is no contact or separation. Um, or it could be someone that you're recently just having issues with. But that's kind of the situation that I'm getting here. So if that sounds like your person, let's get into their honest feelings for you. We're going to do tarot. We're going to do some tarot and oracle cards just to dig in and see what comes through for their feelings for you. So I'm going to start off with some overall energies um, using tarot. All right, let's happen to tile two person's feelings for them. What are Pile 2's energies? What are their feelings towards Pile 2 right now? We have the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay. This person could be a little bit self-destructive right now. We have the Four of Wands in reverse. We have the Hermit in reverse. Let's get one more just to start off. Three of Cups in and then the Five of Cups in reverse. Yeah, so this person is feeling a lot of sadness, um, guilt for the way that things went down. Um, I think this person sabotaged this connection. This person may have drank a lot or maybe like partying or like it doesn't have to be that necessarily, but it, it could be someone who prioritized more superficial things over this connection and they lost, they went too far with that is how I feel. I feel like they may have ruined a really good beginning with you or a good relationship and I feel like they maybe lost they I feel like they have poor self-control sometimes that's something that's coming through and I think they just may have really you got you had a good thing and I feel like this person took it for granted when you guys were together and, or whatever time you guys have been together and I feel like this person is feeling like they lost their home like they feel like you were someone that was very there for them someone they were very comfortable around and they feel so much regret for the way that things went down. And they feel so sad when they think about your guys' good times together. Because I think they actually were truly very happy with you. And I think, again, they just took that for granted with this Three of Cups in Reverse. It could be a third-party situation. You would know if it is. Um, three of Cups in Reverse can mean three third-party for me. Or it can mean um, someone who's just being kind of reckless. You know, it can be like overindulgence, basically, in whatever that person's vice is, you know. Um, it's going to be different for everyone and it doesn't have to be as severe as like drinking or like drugs, things like that. Um, it could just be that this person, um, I don't even know, like they could have had, they could have had joy from like flirting with people, things like that. Things, small things that like aren't really fulfilling, but this person may have not wanted to let that go. I'm get a sip of my tea. Let's see what else comes through. All right, Spirit, for Pile 2, what is Pile 2's current feelings and energy towards... Pile two's persons towards pile two. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person wasn't very reliable for you. We have the Queen of Swords and then we have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, like I feel like this person is the definition of off and on. Like I feel like this person would be flighty with you and they would be nowhere to be found or they would just be super unreliable. And then I feel like you would get upset at them or like putting boundaries with them and then they'd come like crawling back. Or it's like whenever you stepped away from this person, I feel like they step back towards you. And they would try to apologize or they would try to offer you love after they had sabotaged the connection. I feel like this is someone who may have played with your emotions a lot and been really draining for you. Because I feel like with this Queen of Swords, that's representing your energy. And I feel like this person knows that they overstepped your boundaries. They, It feels like they know that they may have, that they were inconsistent with you. Again, that's, that's just what's coming through for that. Um, yeah, let's get some more, see what else comes through. All right, Pile 2's person. What are Pile 2's person's emotions for them? How are they feeling? Again, we have the Hermit in reverse. We have the King of Wands and the Five of Cups. Yeah. So I feel like with the Hermit in reverse here, I forgot to even talk about that. I feel like this person has, has been isolating themselves from you. I feel like this person is kind of afraid to take accountability for what they've, they, the way that they act in this connection. And I think with this King of Wands, um, I think this person just may sometimes have an ego or just their pride is important to them and their their confidence. And I feel like um, they went too far with that, though, is what I'm getting. And I feel like the reason why I feel like what's coming through is that 
sometimes they don't want to face you because their pride is so important to them. Um, but they do feel very sad. Even if they don't show you, maybe they're in no contact with you or they never tell you this. This person does feel sad for the way that th things went down in this connection. And they do oftentimes think about how they may have sabotaged this connection and the way that they um, lost a really good thing here with you. And I think they may have just not really realized it at the time how how special you were, you know, and it's something that comes through for them later on. But I do think with this King of Wands here, I think this person puts up this face that they're doing well or that they they try to act to you like they are unbothered or they try to kind of put on this show that everything is fine on their end. But I think deep down they do feel pretty pretty hurt by this and pretty shameful as well. And they and they feel like they just don't really wanna own up to that, okay? Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay, pile two's person. We have wedding rings coming out. Let's get another one. I feel like you wanted commitment. I feel like you wanted something a lot more stable in this. Um, yeah, and I feel like you may have cut ties with them, or you may have just with this Queen of Wands, like you may just have or Queen of Swords here. I feel like you may have had to cut this person off because they weren't giving you what you wanted. Um, yeah, we have engagement ring coming out too again. I feel like this person knows that what you wanted was like. Uh, if you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. That song is coming through. <laughs> Sorry for that singing. But um, Beyonce, you know, single ladies. It's like this person knows that they had an opportunity to commit to you. And I feel like they just like didn't. The seduction card's really been wanting to come out. The relationship's over. They feel like you have that. They feel right now like you maybe have cut them off. And then we have looking at you, missing you, nostalgia. There is this feeling of them being very nostalgic about your memories together, but this person feels like at this time you don't want anything to do with them. That's how they that's how they feel. And they feel pretty shameful just in general. Um Okay, how are they feeling? Restlessness. Yeah, I think this person is pretty anxious. I think that's why they avoid you. I think this person does try to avoid you. We have be free, do what you love. I think that's maybe what this person was doing too much of honestly and then we have um in between worlds in reverse so i think this person is having a hard time letting go of you um and yeah with the in between worlds card here i think this person still feels really connected to you i think you're someone who showed them a very deep connection that they may not have ever even experienced and so maybe that's why they didn't really know how to prior prioritize it um i think they learned a lot of lessons through this connection as well and I think they do wish you the best at this point um, for what that is worth. I do feel this energy of um, them trying to be better too. We have spirits to guide you. And so I feel like, um, spirit, and then we have justice at the back. I think this person would, if they, if they could have the opportunity, I think this person would want to bring justice to this connection. Um, but they do have this feeling that you deserve better or you deserve to be somewhere else. Um, maybe you're even married now or maybe you're in another connection and they're aware of this. Um, that may be just for some people, but they may think that you're going to find someone different or better. Um, yeah. All right. Let's get some more. Ooh. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah. And I think this person didn't really know how to accept love into their life. Um, I think this person sabotaged the connection due to not knowing how to receive love, not really knowing how to properly give love as well. Um, we have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we also have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And then we also have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So I do think, again, that this person would like to tell you this. They would, in their heart, that's what they want. But I think their ego does block them sometimes. Um divine timing is that worth waiting for i feel like this person does hope that there will be a chance for you guys to come together at some point and reconvene maybe um this person would like to explain themselves better um they would like the opportunity to do that i'm gonna get you a song just to get their overall energy i like doing a song at this point in the reading just to kind of see like what their overall energy is um in song form so spirit for pile two's person what is their overall energy towards this connection pile two
I want to know. It's amazing how you knock me off my feet. Every time you come around, I get weak. Nobody has ever made me feel this way. I was getting that. Mm -hmm. No one has ever made, made them feel the way you do. Oh, you kiss my lips and then you take my breath away. So I want to know. I want to know what turns you on. Yeah, I'd like to know so I can be all that and more. I'd like to know. I'd like to know what makes you cry so I can always be the one to make you smile. Wow, that's sweet. So this person does still have very romantic feelings for you. Um, yeah. And they, I think they do reminisce a lot on the past about what could have been and the way that they could have treated you in the past. And it's like they want to give you everything that you wanted or that they didn't give to you in the past. I think this person does like fantasize about a different reality where they didn't mess things up. It says slide, you're always wearing them glasses. You don't want, want to let no sucker look you in your eyes, huh? Better show off them eyelashes. You love what you do with a passion Oh, that shit attractive. I fuck with you, girl. All you want to do is gas me. How we end up in the backseat. We just trying to get the bag. We on the same page. We on the same page. You the same way. Yeah, this person feels like a deep connection towards you. And I think that they may have exploited a little bit of how you guys like probably had somewhat of a physical connection as well. And I feel like in the past, they may have focused too much on that and not really focused on emotionally fulfilling you. You know, I feel like this. you gave this person a lot and you wanted more than just you know, a, a very casual situation, okay? Yeah, that is what I am getting for you, Pile 2. Um, I'm going to get some last um, Oracle cards just to see what their kind of last message is. this person pile two's less intuition and we have the owl here the energy of intuition supports your ability to con concede the subtle language of the realms beyond the 3d reality so i think this person still feels very connected to you and i think yeah you guys may have and then we also have sensitivity at the back i do think that this person sabotaged a connection that was very you guys have like a psychic connection with this owl i'm feeling that too and so I feel like you guys are very linked to each other and I think this person is just acknowledging that they'll always feel very connected to you regardless of them not talking to you, regardless of what went down. It's like this person will always feel this like internal pull towards you. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So if this reading resonated with you, please hit the like button. It really supports my videos, my channel, and I appreciate every single one of you that have been doing that. Thank you so much comment down below let me know what you thought any additional context you want to add i really like reading your guys's comments and make sure you guys subscribe i'll be posting three to four pick a card videos a week so i hope to see you at my next reading and have a great rest of your day hi pile three welcome to your reading if you chose the eagle oracle card and the red jasper crystal this is going to be your reading about your person's true feelings for you, what's going on in the connection, how they feel about the connection, and anything that hasn't been super clear to you, we're going to go into that. So this is a timeless reading. Whenever you're seeing it is when you are meant to see it. We are going to be doing an energy check-in with some message cards just to see if this overall seems like something similar to the person on your mind. It doesn't have to be exact, but we just want to rule out that it's the completely wrong pile. So um, if this resonates, then this is likely the right pile. If not, you might want to check out a different pile. Um, yeah. And don't forget, this is a collective reading. So take what resonates. You don't have to take the entire story. Take whatever resonates during the reading for your situation. Okay. So for pile three spirit, let's tap into pile three's person's feelings towards them. Their honest feelings towards pile three. What's going on? Let's just be honest with each other. Pile three is here. I hide my true desires for you. Ooh, but I feel like they want to wanna tell you more. They want to connect on a deeper level. I'm attracted to you, but I'm not ready for the next step. That might be why. It's almost like they're conflicted about if they should open up more. No one will ever compare to you. Okay, wow. So, um... I think that this person has very strong feelings for you. Um, they really like you. They are very attracted to you. They feel a strong connection with you. And I think they do ultimately want this connection to grow stronger. Um, but 
but with this, I'm not ready for the next step. This person may just want time to open up in this connection. I think that this person feels like you're a very unique, one-of-a-kind person. And I think they're very happy that they found you. And I think they are nervous about messing up the connection too. That's something that's coming through. It's almost like they don't want to move too quickly because they don't want to jeopardize anything in the connection. Um, yeah, that's overall what I'm getting for your person. If this sounds like this person's energy, then you probably pick the right pile. So let's get into some tarot. Let's go a little bit deeper into this person's um, thoughts and feelings for you. What they're truly feeling for you at this time. All right, Spirit, Pile 3's person. How are they feeling about Pile 3 right now? We have the Moon. The High Priestess. Yeah, I feel like they feel like a really spiritual and like deep connection to you. That kind of scares them. Um, yeah, I feel like this is a very... They have very intense feelings for you. They see you very... They find you very seductive and they find you very attractive. Like that's just coming through. They feel like you're very smart and you almost intimidate them a little bit. That's interesting. All right, pile three spirit. How's pile three's person feel? We have the queen of coins in reverse. All right, let's get another one. Pile three's person. We have the devil in reverse. And we also have the ten of coins in reverse. Okay, I wonder if this person... With this queen of coins in reverse, I feel like they may be timid. They may have had experiences with um, females or feminine people in the past where they have been very unstable. Um, and so I feel like this person is maybe being cautious and taking this relationship slow and being slow to open up their feelings towards you. Because I feel like they've seen another sort of situation with a feminine where they were very unstable and they may have relied a lot on the relationship. And so I feel like this person is very careful with what they invest in. Like they don't want to invest in this relationship if it's going to lead to, um, if it's going to break down. So I think this person just does have a cautious energy to them because I think that they may have had a more unstable fem feminine around them. It could have been like a mother figure. Um, it also could have been an ex, someone that made them feel like they really need to be careful with people like they they don't just trust their first impression of someone I feel like they really want to get to know someone before they before they open up to them because they almost have this feeling that people may not be who they turn out to be so I feel like this person is like suspicious in that way but they do feel very strongly for you so it's kind of like this like um debate that this person goes through all right what else for pile three how else does pile three's person feel about pile three the devil again in reverse. Okay, so I feel like this person's very attracted to you. And I feel like they're afraid of getting like um too invested or like I feel like they're afraid that they're they're like gonna be too attracted to you or it's like they won't be able to like break free from this connection. And I think they're just afraid of getting into a situation that's like toxic. Um, because maybe again they've experienced that. Yeah, so the lovers, they want to make sure so the lovers mirrors the devil card. And the devil card talks about a connection that's based on like lower vibrations like not saying there can be sexual encounters that are very high vibration but when people are only focusing on that and not the love of the relationship things can go south um you know when there's codependency in a relationship it, things can get really toxic um and i think this person is really wanting to find a very healthy relationship and they're they are in this mode of wanting to kind of test you in a way figure out um if they see a very positive future with you. Yeah, the five of wands in reverse. This person like does not want any drama, does not want chaos in their life. And it's not saying that they think that you are like that. It's more that they have maybe PTSD, like not actual PTSD, but they may just kind of have an assumption based on their previous experiences that, you know, relationships can bring a lot of tension, a lot of chaos, and they may have not had an experience um, with a really loving relationship and they their view of love can sometimes be fearful um, because of what they've seen maybe what they've witnessed or um, they just have this perception that relationships can be like that we have the wheel of fortune here we also have the ace of pentacles in reverse here okay let me think about that yeah with the wheel of fortune there's this essence of this person feeling like at any time a person can change at any time, a relationship can go bad. This person's very tentative and they feel this essence of, they just have this strong connection to the feeling that 
nothing is forever, they're kind of afraid of how things can change. And they're afraid of getting really invested in situations and it changing and losing the opportunity. It's almost like they kind of sabotage the connection a little bit. Um, they push it away because they're afraid of it failing. And so they push it away before it can get to a point where that's painful. And so sometimes that's the blockage for this person is what I'm getting. Yeah, four of pentacles. This person is cautious. This person keeps their feelings close to their heart because they're they're just afraid, you know? But I think you make this person really happy and I think they do have strong emotions for you. I think they think you're very attractive and I think the reason why they're even thinking about all this is because they do see a real potential with you. Um, they almost are just feeling like they want to open up slowly in this connection is what I'm getting. We have passion. Yeah, I think there is a lot of passion in this connection too. And so I think they are trying to um, slow themselves down so they don't get ahead of themselves. So I think they are very, very attracted to you with the devil coming out twice here. It's like they know that if they gave into this connection too much, it may like take over. And I think they're kind of afraid of that in a way. Yeah. Okay, we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Interesting. Let me clarify that one. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, so I'm getting two scenarios for this one. Um, if this is someone from your past and you guys are rekindling, um, this person may be feeling tentative about it due to the past of the relationship. But I also feel like this person may have um, someone that's really toxic from their past that causes them to have trust issues. I'm getting that maybe someone from their past wasn't didn't let go of them or they may have been very obsessed with them. That's something that's just coming through is they may have had a past like kind of crazy ex person that um, may ca cause them to lose a lot of trust in relationships. And so I think spirit is really saying that this person is, is trying to trust in this relationship and trust that it's not going to be this toxic relationship that they've experienced in the past and that it doesn't have to all be based on passion, you know? Yeah, we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. And I do think that this person is looking for like a long-term person. We also have calling in your soulmate. I think that this person just really wants to make sure that the, who, where this, that there's a very fa uh, stable foundation for this relationship. Um, I am getting that they are very invested. They just don't want to show their cards too quickly in this connection. Yeah, so let's get some more Oracle cards for you. I'm going to ask Spirit what this person wants from this connection. Spirit, what does Pile 3's person want for this connection? Okay, we have old school, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Again, I feel like this person has this issue with thinking that everything is always going to turn out the way that it did in the past. And that's like with that conditioning, outdated thinking, always kind of thinking that... Um, Things don't, they're hoping that things don't turn out in the way that they have turned out in the past. Okay, we have separation, missing you, thinking about the future, uncertain future. Let's get one more. We have love, unconditional love. Um, yeah, and I feel like this person is afraid. Again, there's this feeling of them almost willing the separ separation in this connection. But what I think they really do want is connection and love in this and they want to trust in it. But I feel like they've been conditioned to think that relationships don't usually end up going super well for them um and then we have phoenix new phase rekindle renew growth change mindset rise from ashes again if this is someone that you had already been in a relationship with i do think this person wants reconciliation with you um if that's not the case i think that this person is ready for a new stage in their life and a new type of love this person wants to move into like this lover's energy instead of the devil energy um, where things are always conditional. I think this person really wants to experience a very unconditional form of love and they're trying to be very discerning to make sure that they can um, make, make that happen, okay, in this relationship. So again, I am getting it. There's two situations coming through. There's one situation where this is someone maybe from your past and you guys are giving it another go and they're timid because of that or it's just someone that's new but they have someone from their past that still causes them to feel um, afraid of the future, afraid that things will fall apart because we have uncertain future you know and missing you it's like this person's afraid of being hurt in this and what they really want is to open up to it but they just need time to do that okay get some more oracle cards pile three 
What's the energy going on in this connection, please? What is the energy going on for Pile 3's connection? Okay, we have sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Again, I feel like this person, this is reminding me of the lover's energy. Like, almost like, um, what's it called? Basically, um, with sacred union, I feel like there's an essence of like, making love versus like having sex almost it's like i feel like this person wants to make love and wants to have a very loving like wants to like have someone that believes in love in that way close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you find yourself in yeah and so i think spirit is kind of commenting that this person really needs to to give the relationship a chance and know that they do deserve this love that they're that they are currently seeking says you may, may not always understand why certain things happen however there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will be re revealed yeah and so i think that this person's been through a lot and i think they need to open up the possibility that things are not always going to be difficult they're not always going to be as hard as it's been for them in the past and it's time to kind of see from a higher perspective and let go of the past like don't let the past sort of um dictate where this relationship is going to go and I think this person just really needs to take like a leap of faith when it comes to this connection. But I don't see them, um, I think they will be pursuing the connection. I don't see them like sabotaging it away where they're gonna walk away. Um, it's just that they need to open up a little bit more. And they think you're really special though. This person really wants to try. We have communication is key. So I think what's, what this is saying is that I feel like this person needs to, to communicate a little bit more with you and maybe explain some of their hesitations that they have. And I feel like you'd be very understanding of it. I feel like this person needs to open up a little bit more in this connection um, because I think that the, it would really benefit you guys. We have nothing yet is set in stone. Literally, yes. This is the energy of this person. Like this person feels like things are set in stone. Like this person needs to know that this connection can go wherever it's going to go. Like there's unlimited possibilities. And I feel like this person tends to think that things are very fixed, that it's always going to end up this way. It's always going to turn into the same way that they have experienced their relationships. But that's just like not the way it goes. I feel like this person will see one sign of something that happened to them in the past. And big. see, everything is going in that direction. I knew everything was going to go in that direction. And I think this person just has a lot of fears when it comes to love. The moon card did come out first. It says balance spirituality and practicality and so again i think this person sometimes may lean towards being very practical and and we have bring love into the situation as well um i think this person needs to open up to their intuition which is very much telling them a hard yes on you this person does have really strong feelings for you and does see a future with you um they just need to sort of let go of this security blanket that i feel like they have on them which is making them feel like they have to be very guarded and logical and just don't let them get too caught up in their feelings. And I feel like this person needs to know that there's a balance to feeling very connected with someone and there's a need for boundaries, but there's also a need for, for opening up to others and allowing yourself to f experience love. And I think this person maybe it's been a long time since they've opened themselves up in this way. And so... Yeah, that's what I'm getting for your person. I'm going to leave it right here. So if this resonated with you, please hit the like button. It really helps out my videos and my channel. And I really appreciate every single one of you guys that have been doing that. Um, I'll be posting three, two, four pick a card videos per week. So make sure you subscribe. And so you don't miss any of those future readings. Uh, yeah, so I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I'm sending you lots of love. Hi, Pile 4. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the tiger oracle card and the serpentine crystal this is going to be your reading on your person's true feelings for you so we're going to be decoding what your person's thoughts and feelings are for you anything that hasn't been super clear hopefully we can bring some clarity on that today this is a timeless reading so whenever you're seeing this reading this is when you are meant to see it so I am going to start off by doing an energy check-in um, just to help you figure out if you did pick the right pile. Um, it's just an overall sort of um, feeler for your person's general feelings for you and what's going on in the connection, what their current perspective is, and this tends to be from their higher self. So let's see, for pile four, what what is pile four's person's overall energy towards them? I'm learning some hard lessons. You inspired me to be a better person. I'm very busy right now. 
we are healing and learning with all of this. Okay. <sighs> okay, so with I'm learning some hard lessons and I'm very busy right now. I think this person, I think you really, I think you're the more intuitive one in this connection. I think you're someone that may have even somewhat spiritually awakened this other person. Um, I think there's someone that you almost opened up a new reality for this person when you met them. I feel like you have a very bright light and I think you saw the good in this person. And I think you really gave them a chance and you really gave them a lot of your energy. And I think this is something that they had never experienced before. So I feel like you're not the usual person that they had in their life romantically or even as a friend. I think you're like on a higher plane than this person. And I think this person learned a lot of lessons through this connection, okay? So I think this person at the very beginning of the connection, um, they were like a different person at that time. I feel like they didn't necessarily get this connection the time of day it deserved. And they didn't really understand the depth of a human. They didn't understand you super well in the beginning of this connection. And so they may have not really um reciprocated a hundred percent of the emotions that you gave to them because they almost didn't understand you very well and with but I feel like over time in this connection I feel like you proved them wrong or you proved them they learned how like kind of badass you are throughout the relationship and I think that's something that really kick-started some lessons for them and some sort of karma for this person to learn maybe like it cause them to have an ego death or cause them to kind of see a new way of living and I think you just had a really big impact on this person and they had a lot to learn when you met them so I think they learned a lot from you as a person and it, I don't feel like this is the easiest connection for you though because I think that this person may have also triggered you a little bit so that's what I'm getting I'm gonna leave it at that for the energy check-in if this sounds like your situation um then you likely pick the right pile if it doesn't you might want to listen to the energy check-in um at the beginning of all the piles it might help out just to help you make sure you're on the right pile so we're gonna do some tarot and then we're gonna get into oracle cards as well just to kind of um dive deeper into this person's feelings and thoughts for you right now all right, pile four, spirit. Tapping into their current feelings. Fi file, oh my gosh, help. This is the fourth pile, so like my, I, my brain stops working ever so slightly, but we're gonna do this. Okay, for pile four, pile four's person. How is pile four's person feeling about pile four? Okay, we have the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Coins. Yeah, I feel like they missed an opportunity with you. They feel like they missed an opportunity with you. They feel like there is, there's been an ending here and um, they do think that they had an opportunity here that was definitely missed. And we have the Six of Swords here. And so I feel like you may have moved away from this person or they may have just kind of like had a lost opportunity with you. Um, and they may see you doing better now. Um, and that may be something that kind of taught them a lesson as well. The six of wands. Yeah, this person is not feeling very confident, doesn't feel very proud about the way that they um, the way that they behaved in this connection, essentially. And I think this is someone that you may be in no contact with at this point. Um, yeah, I feel almost like this person feels kind of stupid. That's what's coming through. I feel like this person feels like, oh, with this tiger card, I almost feel like this person maybe didn't completely respect the feminine energy, like the power of the feminine energy. And I feel like you're someone who's very strong feminine energy. And I think this person didn't even know how to interpret it. And then I feel like they got like played. I feel like this person played themselves in this connection. I'm going to get a sip of my tea. And it's like now they have to watch you be better, be in a better place, I almost without them. I mean, you may still be in contact sometimes with this person, but I do think that there has been somewhat of an ending here. Or it doesn't, it doesn't, I wouldn't think that you guys are communicating on a regular basis. How does Pile Four's person truly feel about Pile Four? We have the Five of Swords, the Six of um pentacle so i feel like you were very kind to this person i feel like you really gave a lot to them and i feel like they didn't accept it super well or they didn't really re reciprocate it too we have the knight of cups as well 
yeah so there may have just been like disagreements like i i wouldn't say it was um verbal like i don't think you guys got into extreme arguments it's more like i feel like you guys just were seeing on a very different plane and i think this person let their ego get involved a lot in this connection and i feel like you had very genuine intentions for them and i think that's something that may have spoiled the connection we do have the knight of cups coming up here and i feel like it's right under this and so i feel like this person if anything now wishes that they could communicate more emotions towards you than they did in the past because i feel like you definitely gave to them and i think this person is wishing that they would have given to you more in the past because i think in the past they lost the opportunity with you but not really seeing your point of view yeah we have the fool in reverse The Eight of Cups in reverse, yeah. And I think that this person, it's like, I feel like they weren't able to pursue you at that time because they may have thought it would have been risky or they may have felt like um, they had other things. They said, I'm really busy right now. So I feel like this person may have prioritized other things over you and they didn't leave those behind when they had the chance to pursue this connection with you. And I feel like they may maybe would have thought that if they took the chance on this relationship that that would have been a foolish decision. But yeah, we have the lovers coming out. And so I think this person is waking up to the connection, if anything. And there's this energy of like, why didn't I fight for this at the time? Like, I know I would have thought that they come through like, I feel like I stopped myself in the past because I didn't want to take the risk on this relationship. I didn't want to prioritize it. And I regret that because I see like what a good partnership this could have been for me. And they honestly have growing emotions for you, I would say, which may be surprising because I feel like in the past they maybe didn't show you too much of their emotions for you. Um, but I feel like you really saw the light in this person. Yeah, we have the snake. We have talking. Girl with the snake coming out twice. Whoa. So I feel like this person may have been kind of shady with you. Um, you may have put boundaries in with them. And like, I feel like this person just feels like they were snaky in this or feels like they should have been more honest with you. They should have told you more, but instead they really didn't appreciate who you were at the time in the past. And so I am getting this as someone from your past. Yeah, we have backstabbing. So I wonder if this person like may have done something wrong here, may have ran from the connection, may have kind of violated your trust in some sort of way like I don't think you guys were ever like seriously dating but I feel like this person maybe talked to other people and you were like what like I didn't you know I really liked you like what's going on here and so I feel like this person um yeah I feel like they may have kind of instead of seeing like what a special person you were like I feel like they may have just been like complimented by your energy or like thought you were attractive and they they appreciated the the affection but they weren't even thinking about you in this situation you know okay we have new love calling in your soulmate get another one yeah i feel like this person has been going through a um let your friends help you ask for support from others i feel like this person may talk to their friends now trying to get advice about like if they should reach out to you. I feel like this person would want to reach out to you. I wouldn't be surprised if they did at some point. Um, but I feel like with calling in your soulmate and new love here, it's like, I feel like they would want another chance with you. Um, and it's almost just like one of those delayed situations where they didn't realize what they had until after. Um, yeah, I'm going to get some more Oracle cards see what else comes through. A new start is coming. I feel like this person would really like to start fresh with you. Um, if Only, of course, if you're open to that. This is just from their perspective. I feel like what their energy is like. Um, I do think that they would want a new start. Because I feel like they the first thing that was coming through is that they, they blew this connection, you know? It's like they had the opportunity and they may have just messed it up. And I feel like this person does want to make it up to you. We have luck is on your side. Okay? And we have nothing will come of this situation. Interesting. So... I feel like this person may be torn as to whether or not um, it's like they feel like you don't want anything to do with them. They feel like that. They feel like you may not want anything to do with them at this time, but they wish that they could start over with you. Okay. Um, 
And it's almost like this essence of them knowing that they would have to get lucky, like with something that they would say to you or they'd have to say the perfect thing um, because they do feel like you maybe have moved on from them and they just aren't sure. We said we have nothing yet to set in stone, surrender to the divine. And so I think that this person has been going through some spiritual awakenings too. And I feel like what they're realizing um, is they're starting to see themselves more clearly and they're starting to see their own ego more clearly and what may have prevented them from opening up to this connection. And I think that's something that's been very interesting for them and triggering also. And I think that this person wishes that they would have basically taken this opportunity when it was there because they're afraid that maybe they lost this new opportunity that they had with you. And they almost feel like even if, yeah, because like with this nothing is set in stone, I feel like there's a part of them that's like, I kind of understand that this person never wants to talk to me again, but I also hope that this person would give me another chance. And it's like, they're saying, well, you never know, like maybe this person would forgive me, but like, regardless, I'm going to let what happens, whatever happens, happens. And it's like this person is at a higher level of awareness than they were in the past. And so I think that this person is kind of accepting wherever this relationship ship goes at this point but i think this newfound like realization is something that has been on their mind and i think they do have hope for this connection but they also are going to be like accepting the fact that if they've ruined it like that's kind of on them and i think they kind of have been lear learning their lesson it says freedom there's nothing stopping you the path is clear if you want it to be so i feel like that's a, like this person coming here to say like <laughs> if there is a way that you'd be open to me like the path to me is open if you want to come through okay it says you may not understand why certain things happen however there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life through turmoil a blessing will be revealed so if this has been a very chaotic situation for you um i feel like spirit is saying that this was all really meant to build up the situation um or, or to kind of change this person for the better we also have close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in let's get one more what's the finishing like love oracle advice here for this connection or just w the last sort of oh the last energy that we want to pull for this pile of spirit oh my gosh it's too many okay one more spirit please transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things wow so i wonder if you are still open to this connection i feel like this person is really hoping that there is still a chance and that there is still love here and i think that's very much up to you at this point because i don't know if you're already over this connection because the ten of swords did come up as the first energy in the six of swords so you may already be doing your own thing but I think this person is still hoping that there's chance for a new blessing, a new beginning with you. So that's what I have for you, Pile 4. If this resonated with you, please hit the like button. It really uh, supports my channel, and I really appreciate every single one of you guys that have been doing that. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. I love reading your guys' comments, and make sure you guys subscribe. I'll be posting three to four pick-a-card readings every week, so I hope to see you in those future readings. Have a great rest of your day.